I've been working in the field of bladder cancer for 20 years now. And after the first decade working with chemotherapy, we really hit a plateau of benefit that we could never overcome with chemotherapy alone. So while I was doing clinical trials of immune checkpoint inhibitors in the treatment of patients with bladder cancer, I began noticing a certain pattern. My patients who had FGFR3 mutations, when these mutations were present, I wasn't seeing a great response to immune checkpoint inhibitors. When we heard about novel agents targeting this pathway, I became quite interested in exploring them in our bladder cancer patients. Erdafitinib has had a very gratifying response rate, around 40% of patients with a median survival over 13 months. With the recent approval of erdafitinib for the treatment of patients with FGFR3 mutant urothelial cancers, we now have an additional agent to add to our armamentarium. This truly reflects a novel therapy that can be tolerated in patients who typically have not been able to tolerate alternate aggressive treatment. And my hope is we will be able to add this to our treatment strategy and learn how it combines with immunotherapy and how we can use the effects of this drug to improve the survival for all of our bladder cancer patients.